Today, I'm, I'm, I'm going to talk about the recent movement in activity and fragment in Android X framework. As, as, Janice, as Janice introduced me, I'm, I'm Wonyoung Choi, as known as Toru. I, I work for Singapore Tourism Board as Android Advocate. <coughs> Recently, I found a very interesting thing from, from, from the latest Android X framework. Recently, Google has released a new activity and fragment API and Rex. So today, I'm I'm overview about about this noteworthy changes here. <coughs> At first, I want I want to share some code some some code level, some method here. Start activity for result, own activity result, and also on request permission which result. I bet everyone is already familiar with with this method, but. From, from the latest alpha, <coughs> alpha version in Android X, it, it has been deprecated on, on component activity. So instead, yeah, so in, instead of using this, there are, there are some suggestions here. So <coughs> is, yeah, instead of using, using that kind of things, we, we can use activity some, some way called activity result launcher and activity result contract. By using, by using this, yeah, we, we can resolve some some problems we can we can face we can face again such as type coupling or type safety or unwanted no point exception because 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 after calling startup start activity for result we have to implement own activity result inside the activity or fragment it could it causes a tight coupling with with the logic with the logic with the view <coughs> and by 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 by, by this typo, there are, there are some unwanted and null point exception by by that, and also type safety type safety problem. So here I <coughs> I can share how how to add. Here we, we can we can just add one line as we can see, in, into your build a grader file. The, unlike unlike the pre the the legacy way. De declare, declaring declaring on on activity result <coughs> we, we we can we can register direct register for activity result like like we can like you can see so <coughs> first first thing first thing request activities is called activity result launcher and and the par and the parameter taken that taken by register for activity result is yeah is called activity result contract so here <coughs> Using lambda, using lambda, using lambda expression, we, are, we, we can use, we can get back the data we want to be able to use in your activity or fragment. This is quite, is quite same, quite simple way. Here, I, here, I, I just introduced, I just introduced how to, how to use, how, how to, how to transport to, to the other activity, but, but it's also available to get results with. That result returned like type, typical intent, such as picking event, picking image, or opening camera using intent. It, <clears throat> from this code snippet, everything yeah, everything is same, but only one only one different thing is the parameter take, taken by register for active result. <clears throat> because because of because of a change of the parameter get contents, it also ret or it also returns a different thing URI. Here we here to use to use this image activity, activity launcher, <coughs> activity result launcher. We have to put the we have to put here the the MIME type so the, so as to get 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 the get the result we want to use here. As well as well as as well as getting yeah getting getting result from the other activity or some imb embedded activity embedded application in Android device. It, this API also can hand, is, available, is able to handle the permission dialogue and callback, not only single permission and but multiple one. Here <coughs> also 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 what what is what it changes is just just request permission so which is a which is a parameter. It re, it returns instead of it returning URI or activity result as we can see at the you can see at the previous day, previous station, it returns it enable the, the boolean flag. 
and also we, we can we can pass we can pass the we can pass the look the permission we want we want to use for your your feature so by 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 if you if you push the permit the button and as a result it, it shows the dialogue it shows the dialogue if if the permission is enabled is 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 yet to be enabled otherwise it just it just it it <coughs> it will not work In, in, a, in, a, in the same manner, yeah, we, can, we can see we can see how to use how to use the how to how to handle the multiple permission like that. Instead instead of passing the st string parameter, we, yeah, we can we can pass the array of the permissions. Here, <coughs> the, here you you can you can see, everyone can see the list of predefined activity with a contract in the framework level. From from create document get get content to the take video or take picture is in my opinion though there are those those naming naming sense seem to follow the naming sense or actions of intent we can see we can see it we have seen in in the android project but some but sometimes you know framework the framework doesn't support every everything everything we want to use for our our own project for for that case google also Google has Google has Google has suggested some way to customize the Active Reader contract here. This okay. This this is a, this is just just like a code snippet. In here, in order to do it, yeah, we we have to we have to implement an anonymous anonymous class and also also override two met, two method to achieve our our goal. The first. Yeah, basically, you, as we can see, that is they follow the way of gen, way of usage of generic. The first, the first parameter is yeah, is regarding is regarding the create create intent override function. And second thing is is in charge is in is in charge of returning returning type or pass result. Here, active here activity result is just just simple data structure containing re, containing result result code. You know. Request query result and intent. So here, as, as we can we can follow this way, we can follow the same way as 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 we have seen in in previous session. One more one more interesting thing is in 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 a the framework side, there are there are some there are some ways to pass or Transport the data between fragments, but in order to in order to achieve that that way, we have used some shared baby shared boy model or some listeners. Or we, we need to define some listeners in activity. But <clears throat> in the in this library, rather rather than the other things, fragment manager is in charge of working on this. There is a yeah. There are two two methods we. Res responsible for this, for this, for, pass, for passing the data between fragment, fragments. <clears throat> Here, between, between fragment two fragments, the, uh, the whole fragment manager is related to to each other. So here we we can just to use to use this library. We can just we can just add this one line into your. Your build a grader file. I want. I want to assume. I want to assume that we have. We have two fragments, which is sender, which are sender fragment and receiver fragment. Here, <clears throat> here in when when you want to when you send the data to the receiver, we can call. We can call this this one line function send fragment result with with your request key, request key and the and the data's in, data's wrapped in bundle. As we, the, end, the, the second line, the second line is a is a framework source we can we can find from we, we can find from Android Studio. We, here we, we 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 can find we, we can find that the, all the function is all the function is on the fragment fair parent fragment manager. In the same way, we can we can we can re register the listener. 
for the receiver fragment with, with, with the request key. Here, as, as, soon, as soon as the sender, sender fragments, sender fragment transport, transport, transports the data to the, to the receiver, receiver fragment, <coughs> it reacts and return, return the bundle, bundle bundles to the receiver fragment. Here, <coughs> you know, you know, frag fragment can be used in nested way, child fragment and parent fragment. If, at the, at the relation, we can we, we can also use this this methodology to that. But the more important part at the, at the situation is child fragment manager. Here I here let's assume that child fragment want to send the data to the parent fragment. In this, that is also the same way to, to use the, to, to transfer the data to the parent fragment. Here, one, one different thing we can, we can find from this, from this slide is, instead of parent fragment manager, rather child, child fragment manager is in, is in charge of transferring the data to yeah, between, yeah, between that fragments. Here, also, we, by, <coughs> by declaring fragment result listener, yeah, we can, we, we, can we can be returned the request key and result. In a, in a in the bundle type. Okay, I I introduced two ways, two things added added in the, the latest Android X framework. Active, yeah, especially active activity and fragment. But here there are some limitations because it, it has yeah it, Google Google released this this fragment this frameworks just 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 April. So it still stays at alpha, alpha stage. That means there are some possibilities of un unexpected changes in the future. So <coughs> in, in, in that official document in d.android.com, you can find that Google, Google, has, Google has strongly recommended us to use this, this methodology. But I, but I want to suggest you to, to take some time to be stabilized. Here, here at the session, I just I just shared how to use this <clears throat> these APIs in activity and fragment. But if if possible, at, not now. But I I I want to I want to talk about the mechanism of API during uh, getting getting through the the framework the framework source and also share it and also. Also, Google also Google suggests a way to receive the, to receive the activity result in a separate class. That is, I think that is there's a way to, there's a how we can how to achieve the SRP single response single responsibility principle. Cause cause you cause using that cause using that frame the way is also also not bad, but there are still there are still some couplings, <coughs> but. Loose and loose and more loose coupling than than the than the previous thing, and also <clears throat> also behind also beyond beyond this activity and fragment things, there are some there are there are some some new components such components in activity and fragment. For example, we yeah we can we can pass we can pass the lay the layout ID file into into your constructor activity and fragment, or or we can use Fragment factory or some fragment container view and etc. So if so, if possible, I I want to share how to you how to utilize that com the component in one sample app or in your project. Okay, then uh, this is all. So any questions? Please please feel free to drop drop a question in live chat or. Or even, or even, or even after the after the session, you can drop you can drop me a message in, or just or write write a chat in the live stream. How do you use bottom navigation view and the navigation fragment together? Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> it's it's not so sure. So I 
I will write a chat every after this session. Okay, awesome. So there is one, I believe, from your loyal fan as well, Hassan. Can you, can you let us know how we my, how we can migrate all APIs to new API in new activity and fragment? Are there any steps? Actually, there is no there's, there's no special steps or particular step to do for to migrate the legacy API to the new new API. <clears throat> Oh, yeah, although there's alpha alpha version, yeah, we yeah we can migrate right now. You, yeah, using the, using this using these APIs. Uh, I also created on uh, examples, but I but I haven't pushed it to my GitHub. It yeah, I I found that I, I found the legacy way also works well. 